Hello, and welcome to the review of the Bolton 35 amp controller. I just installed this a few days ago. I'm about 15 miles into riding with it. And um, yeah, I really enjoy what this has done uh, for the bike. It was right around here while racing my son, I realized for $230, you feel about 100 pounds lighter and you give up at least a third of your energy, uh, your battery resources. And yes, I would recommend this controller caused me to go on a quick ride at night. I really just wanted to go for a ride and feel what this could do in town. And um, it's really been a huge asset. My top speed went up about three miles an hour, but really that thousand, and these are my settings here, and we'll talk about this later. The controller has some really um, neat settings. But keeping pace with traffic and climbing hills and going through circles, I feel like I'm less of a liability to the cars around me because I got this 100 pound bike and now I can really pull myself along. Some important things that you should know though is that this uh, 35 amp uh, controller I think it was made mostly for the Rad Rover in mind and while our original controller if you're a Rad um, wagon owner is 22 amps to 25 amps, I believe. It has plugs coming out of both sides, and this controller requires you to take the power cable that goes back to your rear hub, which I'll have an arrow to in just a moment here in the video. Oh, the nice thing is you can't hook it up wrong. All the cables are color-coded, so every it all works out, but it's a tight fit, and I really got nervous early on thinking, oh my god, this isn't gonna work but uh, it does fit and um, I need to work on some cable management here, but that is your rear uh, drive uh, cable that comes out of the front, as you can see, of the controller. On the original controller, it comes out of the back and you don't have to twist it. So to get to your settings, you turn on your controller and then hit your up and down arrow. I wanna mention here too, to turn on your front headlight, you push your front arrow down and it turns on. Now these are my settings. To understand these settings, I recommend going to this Big, Guy, uh, Big Game Bikes uh, website, and I'll link to, to uh, his site. He's done a lot of great work decoding this. The display I really like, it shows you ambient temperature, time and distance, it shows you your voltage, and um, how many watts you're driving to your rear hub, and that's a huge asset, I think. Um, in conclusion, I really feel like part of this is about safety because these bikes, these cargo bikes we ride are 100 pounds and having power to just get along with traffic I think feels better for everyone. Um, this is my daily kind of hill that I contend with. It's hard to see in this shop but um, upgrading this controller basically makes this bike a real dream setup so I, I feel really fortunate to, to have this bike and uh, just to be re reviewing this controller. So, you know, for 230 bucks, it's really exceeded my expectations. And um, I think if you buy it, you won't be disappointed. Uh, I'll update the description below if I burn up my motor or if if anything goes wrong, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. And um, happy riding. Thanks for watching.